I just want to take a minute to uh, show you around the yard. As you can see behind me, we ended up getting some freezing rain last night. It's not quite as much snow as we have typically gotten in the Pacific Northwest, but I want to take a minute to recheck my small pergola because I went in there earlier and a lot of my plants were kind of like really whimpering. So I want to go check out, see how the temperature is in there and then just kind of uh, point out some plants that have some beautiful winter interest. So let's get started. Okay, but you guys have to come along. So let me grab you. Now you can see my rose bush, still an evergreen, but it's nice and frozen. It's just beautiful. Look at the little bit of rose hip that this uh, flowers put out. I've never seen this with rose hips before. And uh, this year it really produced some. So I'm happy to see that. It's just... Then over here in this gorgeous, this is a Japanese lace leaf maple, little dwarf tree. And uh, this is probably about 10, 15 years old, and just beautiful winter interest there. My mom's is all frozen, but it's still beautiful. And then right here, I have my uh, Cherokee Brave Dogwood. And last year, when we got the ice storm in springtime, it just flopped all of these branches apart. And I've mentioned this before, but I got some jute and I kind of stringed it together to keep the uh, branches from flopping over. So this year it's holding together and hopefully it'll continue to keep this little tree strong year after year from here on out. But it's beautiful with all the frost and the streets are obviously beautiful. And uh, let's see, over here I have my little frogs. And then of course it's surrounded by orange crop cedium. And this uh, is not hurting them at all. They were under about a foot of ice last year and they still look beautiful. So this is the plant to consider because it's uh, cell seeding and it's not invasive, but it's beautiful in the summer months, adds a lot of winter interest. So yeah, this is one of my favorite plants. And then here's my other lace leaf Japanese a uh, little tree. Look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? Let me bring you real close so you can see. Just makes it for a beautiful winter structure. Ooh, it is so cold out here. But uh, I wanted to show you again, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, but now you can truly, truly see how the hard, hard frost hits my uh, Virginia Jack Frost. And uh, if there is a plant on this earth that you could get that is easy to care for, it's pest free. I believe it's also deer and rabbit resistant. It's definitely snail and slug and bug resistant be this plant. This plant will come up in the springtime, last until the first hard frost like we have today. And from here on out, it'll uh, go into dormant. This uh, hyacinth pot, I never take in. As you can see, it's frosted over. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. And all the flowers pop back up every year. Uh, last spring, we had probably about a foot of ice and this survived and it still bloomed beautifully. So there are bulbs that can withstand the weather. This is a uh, Rainbow Fist Spirea. It's uh, beautiful in the springtime and gorgeous in the summertime. Over here, you can see my husband put plastic on this chicken coop just in time. So they're staying nice and toasty underneath those uh, lights. I also want to show you how much debris this huge eucalyptus tree sheds off. And it used to do it worse in the winter, but last night we had high winds and so it threw a lot of debris and it does this every year. Just not this bad. This year it's been pretty bad. Let's go into the small pergola and see what the temperature is. Temperature right now in here is about 40, 40 degrees, 41 degrees. And it was about 20, I believe it was 20 or 25 when I came in here. Pretty cold. 
my beautiful one over here. It was really, really whimpering. Uh, having this windows put in actually did create a, a little bit more cool weather for this abutilon but it'll still stay of evergreen and as long as i keep this somewhat heated uh it'll be just fine as long as we're getting this type of weather out there but i do have this little uh propane heater in here that does put up enough heat in here where it's not too warm but warm enough that's keeping these plants nice and healthy like i said we'll come in here periodically and uh, keep an eye on them but i just wanted to enjoy this day with you i wanted to take this moment just to wish you a merry christmas happy hanukkah uh, or whatever it is that you celebrate for this time of the year i only pray for many blessings to come your way please stay safe stay warm and if you are in a better climate, I wish you the best weather. This is really freezing out here, but let me tell you, it is beautiful. So you guys. Merry Christmas from our home to yours. May your Christmas, Hanukkah, or whatever it is that you celebrate, be a wonderful, beautiful day. Cheers. Stay safe, stay warm. And a happy new year. <laughs>